Tonight, some thoughts on this eve of Thanksgiving. It's supposed to be a holiday dedicated to our families, our friends, and the ties that bind. It's a holiday where gratitude should, above all else, be placed front and center. But the reality is that in recent years, it's become something far different, a holiday that's been tarnished by never-ending sales on flat-screen TVs, appliances, all manner of jewelry, forcing folks to spend time waiting in line, sometimes for days, instead of cherishing the time they have with their families. Polling shows that the majority of Americans say they're going to shop online this holiday season, with Internet sales poised to surpass $100 billion for the first time ever. Sure, that's good for the economy, no doubt. But shouldn't we just dedicate one day, one day, to family and giving thanks without having to buy anything? Just take a look at how early these sales start this week. Kohl's, they kicked off at Turkey Day discounts on Monday. Old Navy, knocking 50% off all items beginning today. And by the time Thanksgiving morning rolls around, virtually every major retailer will be back offering Black Friday deals that will bring folks to the store or to their computers before they even have time to prep their meal, let alone clean it up. And that leads me to my next point. Why are stores even open on Thanksgiving at all? I know retailers, they need to sell, and I get it. They make all their money this time of year. It's the biggest season of the year for them. But is it worth the breaking up of families on the one day that some of them spend time together, that one day a year? It's bad enough that consumers are dragged away from their families, but what about the employees who are forced to staff the stores? Just look at this partial lift list of stores open tomorrow. Kmart is one of the first to open, cracking its doors at 6 a.m. Dollar General, Bass Pro Shops. I love Bass Pro Shops. I love Cabela's, but they're not far behind. And by the end of the day, they'll be joined by JCPenney, Old Navy, Walmart, Target, among many others. Well, I worry that in our haste to buy for everyone on our list, it's going to cause our relationships to fray with the people we love the most. And some things are worth more than the 100 bucks you might save on that widescreen. And in most cases, those doorbuster sales are come-ons to get you to buy some other junk you don't need anyway. How many times have you stood in line for that $200 iPad on Black Friday, only to learn that the sale only applied to the first five sold? And turns out you're the 38th person in line. Read the fine print before you give up the stuff that really matters, the stuff that you're never going to get back and then won't ever go on sale. That's time with friends and family. And part of what drives us into the cold and makes us want to join those Black Friday blowouts and the Friday mobs is the thought that we might miss out on a great opportunity. My goodness, we got to get there. We got to drive there. We got to park there. But on Thanksgiving, the biggest opportunity in the world is back home. And it's around the table. So savor this Thanksgiving. Try to celebrate it without wrestling your neighbors over a sales bin. 